They found out that I had cancer, and it was lung cancer. And I think at that time it was pretty, it was pretty far gone. Um, December of 2007, I had my annual mammogram and it came back abnormal. So um, that started it all. I got diagnosed with breast cancer. They found some uh, fairly mutated cancer cells in my prostate. So I got a call on Columbus Day, 2006. They did a biopsy on my prostate and it came back positive for cancer. I couldn't hardly drive because it was bothering me, so I pulled up in this parking lot and I just boo-hooed, I just cried. I could not believe it was cancer and just not me. You know, I went through all those questions. Why me? I'm, I'm so young. I'm my kids. What am I, what am I gonna do? I was just, just really, it just blew me away because I was thinking it wasn't gonna happen. It couldn't be me. There was no history. There should be no problem. Um, and then all of a sudden I get this news. It was like I was given a death notice. I felt like, well, cancer kills and I'm going to die. My oncologist um, mentioned that there was a clinical trial available um, through my chemotherapy treatment. I'm like, okay, what's a clinical trial? I've never heard of that, you know, just tell me about it. They just said that, hey, um, there's a chance that um, that you could help others and would I be interested in being involved? And I said yes. About 60 years ago, many cancers were uniformly fatal. But since the discovery of new therapies and technologies, cancers like leukemia, testicular cancer, and Hodgkin's disease are now routinely cured. And this is because of clinical trials. Discoveries that come through the randomized trials really give us um, exciting opportunities to uh, prevent disease, to uh, treat and uh, improve uh, survival in those with cancer. Clinical trials provide personalized care with a dedicated staff of doctors and nurses who are focused on you. If you're participating in a clinical trial, not only do you have your doctor and your doctor's team, including the nurse and the other support staff, but you also have a research coordinator that really is looking at your care in particular. The, the technicians in there were really good. They really made me relax. They answered every question that I had. They sat down with me. Somebody who has a life-threatening disease, um, you have a lot of questions. They would go in every six months, they would do a blood, take the blood draw. It took about 10 or 15 minutes. I just felt like I was dealing with the best doctors and the best educated. I might not have gone to Harvard and gotten straight A's, but I'm glad you guys did <laughs> because I just felt like that they were right on top of it. I'm being dealt with, with respect, gentleness, and, and like, They've known me all my life. By participating, you have the opportunity to receive the most advanced treatments and the best care by a team of medical professionals dedicated to your needs. You want to participate in a clinical trial because you will have access. Access to new medicines, access to a cure. You know, if something new and uh, wonderful came down the pike, that I would have access to it. And things are very, very strict, I'm finding. And there's a lot of pre-testing and testing throughout that goes on, and that makes me feel very, very good and very, very comfortable that I'm getting very good treatment. Hi, Lisa, I was just wondering how my test results came out. Clinical trials are closely monitored in order to ensure that patients receive the best treatment throughout a study. There's a monitoring system out of the National Institutes of Health to, to really make sure that all institutions are applying the rules. Clinical trial participation is completely voluntary. At any time, if your doctor or you feel that the study is not going well for you, then you can leave the study. And if things aren't going right, they're gonna catch it. I, I have that faith that they're gonna catch it in time in order for me to try something new. 
A clinical study is probably the most organized way that medicine is delivered. Today, more than ever, a wide range of participation is necessary to confirm that emerging treatments are effective for all people. Broad participation is so important in clinical trials because we want to make sure that if a promising agent is going to replace a standard of care, that it is equally effective in all groups. Some things affect blacks differently from the way they affect whites or Asians or others. So unless we have the data that specifically relates to us, then we won't know. Somebody had to participate in a previous trial or a series of trials or something in order for that procedure to be developed and work and work successfully. Go ahead and get involved. You won't be sorry. And you've lost nothing because you've gotten excellent care throughout the trial. I think that African Americans, Latinos, and Native Americans need to understand that this is open to them and they can benefit from it. When you participate in a clinical trial, you not only have a positive impact on your cancer treatment, you become a hero by giving other cancer patients hope. Cancer patients who enroll in randomized trials are clearly heroes contributing to the advance of science. You're really not doing it for yourself as much as for the good of mankind. Once the discovery is made here, it filters through the whole world, and that becomes the treatment, the standard. This is all about my kids. This is all about my kids. It's the first thing I thought about. I participated in this trial for over a year, but I have my whole life ahead of me now because of it. What do you have to lose? You already have a life-threatening disease. What do you have to lose? You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in people around you. I'm looking forward to retiring. I want to live on a golf course. <laughs> and, um, just enjoy the rest of my life. I want you to come back at five years. I want you to come back at 10 years. And then I want us to celebrate that you don't have to see me anymore. I look at my kids and I think maybe they won't have to experience it at all because there'll be a cure for it. For more information about clinical trials, visit the Siteman Cancer Center website. And most importantly, ask your doctor about clinical trials.